language of origin. Oh, language of origin. Gibberish. Gibberish. <laughs> All right, so she was close. She just left out the V. <laughs> oh, she misspelled it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Poor kid. <laughs> she must not be on Twitter. Right. <laughs> right, right. Uh, she had a lot to study for to win yep. that. Congrats Congratulations. To, yes, congrats exactly. to her. Exactly. Well, she knows everything in the dictionary. That's not a bad <laughs> start. Yeah. My goodness. All right, let's take you outside and show you what's going on. Cool day today, no doubt about it. And we're overlooking uh, Burlington here. It is 54 degrees right now. We've had a few rain showers around. As a matter of fact, Burlington looking at a shower as we speak. Our relative humidity is relatively high. Feels like it's 54 because the wind is nice and light out there. All right, over the next, what, 12 hours or so? Well, less than that. We're going to give you the, 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 I was going to say the day planner. I guess this would be the night planner as we head through the overnight into the very beginning of tomorrow. We've got the chance for a few showers, not only now, but into the beginning of tomorrow as well. And you'll see that on Futurecast in just a minute. Temperatures in the 40s and the 50s. St. Albans right now at 51 degrees, 51 degrees Waterbury. And right now as we head over toward Keene, New York, it is 51 degrees. Take a look at this. We've got some others in the 50s right now as well. Uh, temperature 51 degrees in Rutland. We're doing a 55 in Bennington. All right, temperature trend. This is, you know, I wish I had better news for you here because average high this time of year certainly should be in the 70s. Temperatures in the 60s for many days here. Thursday, we finally get to 74 degrees. It's going to be unseasonable for a while around here. This is Storm Tracker. We're looking around and we'll take you right up to the northern tier here where we're going to run into some rain showers. You can see some of the heavier stuff, say, over toward Johnson. And then we've got some light rain showers in places like Burlington, also into Plattsburgh, right along Route 11. The rain is pretty light, so we widen out a little bit. We've got this upper level low pressure system that just continues to crank around and because of that, it will continue to affect our weather. And I think we may find a shower or two hanging around here first thing tomorrow morning. I was out on the golf course today. Wind playing an effect on what was happening out there. Well, that's the excuse I'm going to use anyway. Uh, and it was a little bit breezy earlier, but uh, boy, the winds have lightened up pretty nicely. So here's Futurecast. Let's look ahead here. We've got some showers, 1.30 in the morning. We'll take it right through the overnight. Here's the beginning of tomorrow. Maybe a shower out there. Likelihood is not great. We've got clouds in the morning. The clouds thinning at least a little bit by later in the day, but we end up with more clouds than sunshine for your Saturday. Cloudy periods tomorrow night. On Sunday, we've got clouds, maybe a little bit of sunshine in the morning, and then by afternoon. And this is a change in the models for today where the rain is actually speeding up because by 430 we've got a bunch of rain out there into that night and it looks like periods of rain as we think about what's going to happen on Monday as well. So we get into yet another yucky weather pattern around here. A couple showers out there tonight, mainly cloudy, 48 degrees. That's it for a low tonight. Tomorrow is going to be a mostly cloudy day. We may find that odd rain shower first thing tomorrow morning. Otherwise, 60 degrees, that's it for Burlington, 62 Plattsburgh, 54 Montpelier, 60 in Lebanon. We'll call it 65 degrees down in Bennington. All right, everybody, here's your five-day forecast. 60 tomorrow, just that chance for a morning shower. And then Sunday, any sunshine fading behind increase in clouds and the chance for afternoon showers, 67. Then we get into a pattern that is not ideal, especially considering we've got so many uh, things happening on the marketplace coming up with the Jazz Festival, because right now it's looking kind of rainy on Monday, Tuesday. We catch a break, it looks like by Wednesday afternoon. Note how cool it's going to be here. Thursday, partly sunny skies, 74. And then on Friday, we've got the chance for some showers. We'll keep an eye on that for you at a high of 68.